there's someone out there who shot my brother nine times, and he's gotten 11 and a half more years of life. And that's not right. I am. That will never be right with me. It'll always tear a hole in my heart. 11 years ago, in January 2011, someone murdered John Genzali's brother, Russell Walker, at Walker's home in Pompano Beach. The case remains open and unsolved. Broward Sheriff's Office detectives and Russell Walker's family want the killer caught. Imagine that haunting you for 11 years, day in and day out. It's not about tattletaling on someone. It's not about being a snitch. It's about doing what's right. It's the smallest things that can really break these cases. Detective Zach Scott serves in BSO's Cold Case Homicide Unit. He says the evidence shows that Russell Walker, a pilot known for his love of family and adventure, was murdered after answering the door. The physical evidence from what we see on our scene is that likely Mr. Walker answered the door and was immediately shot. Uh, he was shot several times. Um, we believe that after he was shot, he fell back into the entryway of the house and was shot again. Um, we believe that the killer, before fleeing, shut the door, uh, so it probably wouldn't be noticed. Russell's family struggles to understand why someone took his life. We just couldn't believe it. Who doesn't like Russ? <laughs> you know, it just was uh, unbelievable. Russell Walker lived life with passion and purpose. He was a former naval fighter pilot who flew F-14 Tomcats at the famed Top Gun School. He worked as a pilot for American Airlines for 19 years. He traveled the world and indulged in hobbies like boating, motorcycling, hunting, and skiing. In 2010, Russell celebrated the Christmas holiday with his sister Diane and their family and friends in California. He returned to his home in Pompano Beach and was making plans to compete in Colorado in January as a member of the American Airlines Ski Club. He never made it. Family and friends became concerned when they didn't hear from him. Russell Walker had not been heard from by his loved ones and family for a period of about 10 days, which they found to be unusual. Uh, they had asked some family friends to go by the house to make sure he was okay. When those family friends got there, they didn't get an answer at the door, and they had a, uh, a foul odor that was emanating from the house. Um, out of concern, they contacted the sheriff's office. When deputies arrived at Russell's home, the responding deputy observed Russell lying face down on the floor. Investigators also found several shell casings scattered around the entryway of the home. We do not believe this was a robbery. There were no valuables taken. We do not believe that the suspect actually even entered the home. It just was a, 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 a blow by blow thing, a sucker punch. Detectives say it appears that Walker was targeted, but 11 years later, they still don't know why. The fact that this murder could occur and no one would notice anything for such a long period of time indicates to me that this is something that happened very quick. The suspect probably fled quickly. Um, and to be able to flee without being spotted, you know, there's a certain degree of probably premeditation uh, to set up this, this murder. BSO's homicide detectives investigated the case, but as time wore on, the clues and leads dried up. The case is unsolved, but not forgotten. When BSO's Cold Case Homicide Investigations Unit was formed in 2019, Russell Walker's homicide got a fresh look. With renewed hope, Russell's family meets frequently with Detective Scott on Zoom to share information, discuss the case, and offer encouragement. Russell's family feels his loss daily. The running shoes he left behind after his Christmas visit still sit under Diane's desk, and his ashes sit on the bar in Diane's home. It gives him a place where he can be included in every family gathering every special moment, every celebration. It's been really tough on the whole family, and we'd all just want to know the answer, and it would help our family move on. Russell Walker's life mattered, and his family and BSO detectives hope someone with a critical clue steps forward to crack the case. Anyone with information on this case is asked to contact the Broward Sheriff's Office or Broward Crime Stoppers at 954 Four nine three tips. You can remain anonymous. Time passes that could make things hard to recall. It can make you feel a certain way to come forward, but ultimately 
the peace that it brings to people should be worth it. It would be worth it to you if it were your brother or your son or your uncle. It's not just an event that happened. It's a person that was taken from us. 